Hi and welcome to Paper Cut Crafts. Today we're going to make just a simple card using the Peaceful Poppies Element Set or kit. I'm using the Peaceful Poppies DSP and the snail to attach it and this is just set up so that it has about an eighth of an inch border all the way around. These pieces are from the Pleasant Poppies elements. They're just uh, die cut pieces that you just have to palp out along the perforation. And I originally thought that I wanted an edge border on here, but the longer I looked at it, the less it really fit with the card and the colors. So I just went with the circle piece. And here are the flowers. Again, they're just die cuts. So this is the one that I chose for this particular card. I thought it went nicely. And then we have some vellum pieces. There are different flowers on the vellum, but I am going for the leaves instead. And there's also another sheet. It's watercolored. So you can add a watercolor to a resist effect on the watercolor paper. And I do not use that here, but it is part of the kit. For an added element, I am using the seam binding ribbon for a background type idea. It's going to go behind the circle die. So now I'm going to use some glue dots to put the smaller pieces together. And that includes the vellum leaves I am going to put on the back of the flower die cut piece. I'm just going to attach them to the back so they pick out, peek out around the flower. And then I'm going to attach the flower to the circle die piece. Now I'm going to attach the whole piece together to the main card and I'm, I'm using the dimensionals to do this. Before I actually stick on this piece I do want to put the ribbon on the card and I'm putting the snail right onto the back and then I'm going to stick the ribbon down. Uh, you can also stick it on the back of your um, accent piece with snail or you can use dots or however uh, works best for you. This actually didn't really work out as well as I had hoped it would. It seemed to be okay at first, but I misplaced my main, my um, 
center piece here and I ended up having to play with it a little bit to get it to stick down just to where I wanted it just right. It turned out really nice and I do like it. And I needed uh, something else on the bottom. I'm not really big on putting sentiments down there and I feel like two um, medallion type ideas, two um, elements kind of makes it unbalanced looking so I decided that I was going to do a bow so I just took the seam binding ribbon again and tied a bow in it and then I just used a glue dot to attach it to the front of the card And here is my finished card. Appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Happy stamping! Hello and welcome back all of a sudden to a bonus piece. I was playing around with some new ideas that I had seen around the internet. One of them was to make a stained glass window effect. I'm not sure what the person originally used, but I thought I would try what I had on hand. So I made a frame piece with some Whisper White and the rectangular stitch dies. And the two different nesting ones so you get that frame effect. And I cut out three of them to build up a layer, a, a higher layer, that I could put something into to make this window. So I am using the Shimmer uh, Crystal Effects and my objective is to make a glass look with it. This is the clearest stuff that I have besides just clear glue. So I'm just going ahead and filling in the whole area. Yes, this took quite a bit of the crystal effects, but don't use it too often. So I have some that I can play with. And I'm just trying trying this out, see what it does and how it looks. Now I had to put quite a bit in here to fill it completely to make it look like a window. So it took quite a while for it to dry, but the effect was quite neat at the end. Uh, it does look like a window, uh, but I think I would put a different back to it. Plus, I later I did trim off the edges. But I hope you enjoyed that fun little bonus. <laughs> 